What's good out there guys? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with another GTA 5 online solo money glitch video. And this one, I'm gonna be showing you step by step how to hit this solo money glitch that's actually fun to do. I wanted to do it multiple times once I got my first dupe and I think you'll enjoy it too. Okay, some really cool steps and some really interesting uh, ways to get glitched out here in this one. All right, so I do believe the arcade duplication glitch is still working, but I recommend if you're getting bored of that, try this one, okay? So what you're gonna need for this one is is join a free aim session. We're gonna be doing some targeting mode stuff. Uh, this works on Xbox and PS4. You need to own a CEO office to get glitched out in, an MOC with the personal vehicle storage, have stored in there an ISI or a retro. That's all we're duping, guys. Benny's vehicles or any of the some of those arena ones also work, but the ISI is the best one. Now we're also gonna be having you wanna fill up uh, RH8s in one of these locations, okay? You can either use the arcade, the arena, the facility, or the nightclub, all right? And you wanna just fill those up with one of those garages, you wanna just fill those up with RH8s, and that's gonna be the cars that we're overriding uh, with the dupes, or, you know, to get the dupes. Okay, so that's basically everything you need. A CEO buzzard if you're not gonna be using uh, friends to TP and jobs and things like that. But that's basically it. So I'm gonna go into my bunker now, and my MOC and my car should be in here. Now, the ISI is gonna be the car that I'm gonna be duping here. Okay, so I'm gonna run over to the MOC and uh, I'm gonna get the ISI out of there and it's the same deal here in the beginning. A lot of these dupe glitches are kind of built off of this. It's glitching a car out on the map so that we can just, you know, have this car that's in an interior but not in a spot and it'll dupe, all right? That's kind of the gist of what's happening with these duplication glitches lately. So you wanna drive out the car that you're duping, in my case the ISI, out of the MOC and into the spot here in the bunker and park it here where you see me duping doing yeah right. yeah right there all right so park it right here okay so what we're gonna do now is this is where you could go outside or get your CEO buzzer to fly I'm gonna choose to actually job teleport and I'm gonna show you oh and there's one other thing you want to be in a public session okay you want to be in a public session or an invite or close friends with only with at least one person in there that you can spectate you need somebody to spectate in the session that's very important i should have said that in the beginning but yeah i'm going to show you right here using a community how i can actually job tp around this is just a community that i'm a part of right here and i can just join anybody here okay and since i'm in free aim i'm sure there's going to be some people here in assisted aim so i'm going to join this guy and i'm going to get this alert here i don't have to accept it i'm just going to join him again to see if i get targeting mode and i do so i'm going to decline the targeting mode and now i've job teleported and i'm over here at the ceo office so this is where everybody needs to go now you need to head over to your ceo office job teleport there or use a ceo buzzer to get there okay so like i said like i was saying before public session uh, with a few people in it will work. You probably want to go into passive mode just in case or you can be doing this uh, In an invite only like this with just one other person that allows you to spectate. Okay, which is what I'm doing here So we're gonna run over to the CEO office and uh, Once we're here, this is where we're gonna be getting glitched out Go over to your couch and you want to press right d-pad to sit down. All right, so we're gonna sit down right here and Once we're sitting down you want to press the right d-pad again to watch TV and then you wanna press triangle to actually turn it on. Okay, so you're gonna see right here, triangle to turn it on, triangle or Y. And now we're moving to the left with the channels, uh, with the left stick, okay? Just keep tapping to the left until you get over to spectate. So this is the part, you see why I said you needed somebody to spectate? If you're the only one in the session, you can't do this. So, now that you have somebody to spectate, press circle or B to get out, out of that spectate, and again, circle or B to get off the couch. Turn around, make sure you have the right D-pad option. This is probably the trickiest part, but it's still it's still not that bad. Okay, so what you wanna do is press pause while you have right D-pad in the background, and you wanna hover over Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack. While you're hovering over this, you wanna hold the pause button, okay? Hold the pause button, and the name of the game is to click on Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack and let go of the pause button to get a certain you know result here to get glitched out. So you see what I'm saying? Have right D-pad, press pause, go to online, hover over Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack. We're gonna hold pause, and then we're gonna try to click on the Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack and let go of pause about a half a second later. All right, and here is the uh, the attempts that most of you will probably go through, okay? So you'll think you hit it here. The way to test is to hold your interaction menu button. If that doesn't work, then that means you didn't hit it. 
Okay, so we're gonna try. This is the the successful hit. So I'm holding pause. I'm gonna click on Criminal Enterprise and let go of pause half a second later. And you should end up like this. Okay, able to open up your interaction menu. If you've hit it correctly, that's what it should look like. All right. Just keep practicing, you'll get that. Close the interaction menu with a B or circle and hit right D-pad. If you hear in the background, he's actually walking over to the couch and sitting down. Now with the left stick, go ahead and move over to property, click on it, go to Mays Bank West Executive Office, click on it, and now we're gonna hover over the link here in the top right, okay? So while we're hovering over this link, get ready to just press right D-pad. And what this is gonna do is you're gonna watch TV in the background. So you're gonna see the screen go black. So press right D-pad, screen should go black like this. It's gonna come back and we're gonna start spectating in the top left. You see, and you can also hear it in the background. So now that we're spectating, along with the Criminal Hunters Enterprise Starter Pack open, you wanna go ahead and click on this link, okay? And while we're doing this next part, you're going to be using your left stick to move the cursor around. You want to do this slowly. So I'm going to click on the link and I'm just going to slowly move the left cursor around and just follow my steps here. All right. And the reason we have to move slowly is because you don't want to mess up anything on the spectate that's going on in the background. Okay. That you don't want to mess anything up. So click on your CEO office moving, you know, at somewhat of a pace like this. You might be able to move a little bit quicker. I was just being careful. But we're going to renovate the CEO office. You're just going to pick a random color, hit renovate, same thing you see me doing here, and just hit buy. Okay. Once you've hit, once you've uh, pressed buy, then you just, and this is free by the way, that, you know, doesn't cost any money. You want to go ahead and press triangle or Y. You might have to press it twice until you're back here frozen. Once you're frozen here on the couch, you want to just simply press pause, go to the online tab, and actually go to the map. Yeah, and we're just going to job TP out of here, okay? So that's the quickest thing to do is to job TP. And I'm going to be using my arcade. Remember, I said you wanted to have a bunch of RH8 so that we can rinse and repeat and dupe over these in one of these garages, okay? So the arcade, you're able to use the arcade, the arena, the facility, or the nightclub. I'm just going to job TP right here to the arcade, and this is the one that I have a few dupes in as well. So I'm gonna join someone in a different targeting mode, accept the first alert, decline the second, and you should be good, okay? So you're not gonna have a mini map. That's how you know you've hit this. You have no mini map right now, and I actually was trying to press square here to jump until, you know, just to like leap a little bit, and you can't even do that. So just hold X and uh, X or A, and you can run, okay? It's kind of like a, like a half run, like a jog, but yeah, that's, uh, that's the speed that you're gonna have to go to since you're glitched out at the moment. So once you go into the arcade or whatever, you know, property you have where you have all of your RH8s in a dupe over, uh, once you go into there, this part has no timing. It's not like the, uh, the, the arcade dupe where you had to have that, you know, specific right D-pad and, and tap the, the trigger. It's none of that, okay? You're going to see how simple this is. So now that we've loaded in, I'm going to run over to the RH8 or whatever vehicle you're going to be duping over. I recommend RH8s, Fagios, things like that. And once I get into this RH8, it's as simple as driving it out. That's it. Just hit the trigger, you know, the right trigger gas, and just drive out. No crazy timing, nothing like that. It's nice and simple. So once you've done that, you should be loading, and you're going to load outside without the car, okay? You're just going to load outside on foot. So don't worry about, you know, you know, worrying about, like, maybe not seeing the car and thinking that the car's not glitched out on the map. It is, all right? It's glitched out. You just want to go ahead from this point and either call a CEO buzzard, like you see me doing right here, signing in as a CEO and just calling out the vehicle, or like I'm about to do and actually just job TP, which I think is the quickest. And like I showed you guys, if you join uh, any sort of community, they're even on Xbox. I remember when I was on Xbox, there were communities and you can join people. So... If you're able to join a community, you can truly do this 100% solo. The only other thing you would need to make sure of is that you have somebody else to spectate in the session. So right here, I'm joining somebody that's not on my friends list while loading up this job that's near my bunker. And I'm gonna accept the first alert, decline the second target mode alert, and I'll TP right here, all right, next to my bunker. And it's as simple as, drive, as, as running in there and getting the dupe. Now, remember, while we're job TPing and doing all this, you don't want to call out any personal vehicles. If at the end of the glitch, you come into the bunker where you see me right here, if you go into your bunker and you see that your ISI is not there anymore and it's back in your MOC, that's because you called out a personal vehicle out on the map, okay? 
At no point do you call out personal vehicles during this glitch. So you can see the ISI is still here. I have it parked. Check out the plate as I get in and you're going to see it change. And there we go. That's the plate 87 KC. That's the plate from the RH8 that we glitched out on the map there in the arcade. So I'm going to press right D-pad and get the full alert. This brand new dupe is going to go into the MOC and the original car with the real easy plate that I duped there went back over to my arcade where the RHA came from. And it's as simple as that, guys. If you want to rinse and repeat now, if you filled up your, your arcade or whatever garage you're using with RHAs, it's as simple as driving out this dupe because it's already saved in the MOC once you drive it in there once. It's as simple as driving this right back out, parking it in this spot, and job TPing or taking a buzzard over to the CEO office to get glitched out. And you guys know the rest. Okay, so this is a really cool glitch. I recommend people do this after a few go-arounds. After one, you'll you'll get comfortable with that criminal enterprise starter pack. That's the trickiest part. But I'm I got confidence that you guys will be able to do this. It's a fun one. Take advantage of it now while it's still working. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. Support the channel by liking my videos and following me on Twitter and the rest of my social media links in the description. Enjoy the glitch and have a great day. Peace.